guys this is five color prints it's not six colors it's five colors your large format requires six colors but in this case this is not working so we're definitely using five colors to print this job and look at the output you can see that it is really sharp your red is coming out red and everything is coming out well in this video i'm going to show you how to get this kind of result in your machine with five colors i want you to stay tuned and before you continue hit the subscribe button hit the like button this is a video you don't want to miss make sure you watch to the end and be cool please watch all the adverts because those adverts help our business and also by the way we sell large format machines we sell monogram machines we sell cutting plotters we sell all kinds of machines they are reliable they have one year warranty and they have lifetime of support you have me and we have other chinese engineers out there all right let's get into the video in this video i'm going to show you what happens when your yellow is missing to understand that first i'm going to do a normal maintenance now this kind of problem has nothing to do with whether there's ink in your tank as you will soon see now we're running clean on the machine is going to clean for a bit all right now we're done with the cleaning and we're done with the nozzle test mind you my machine is perfectly fine so but in your machine say for instance you notice that yellow is missing in my case yellow is not missing but let's say in your machine this yellow is missing if you have problems where cyan is missing check my video for that solution if you have black missing check my videos for that solution in this video we're looking strictly at when yellow is missing it is kind of a case where yellow is completely missing either it is small or completely faded or it's fading or there's there's almost no yellow this fix is the solution to that problem so now this kind of problem is not caused by ink as some people would have said or oh, you should fill your ink and all of that no that's not what's causing it and it's also not caused by your tank but i would advise that if you have problems like that where yellow is completely missing the first thing you want to do is to check your tank uh check whether you have ink in the nozzle in the tank rather and then check whether there is ink inside this tube and then you can remove the damper and then pull out this is the damper you can remove it and put a syringe through something like this a big syringe like this don't use a small syringe use a really fat syringe like this uh it's usually called 60 milliliters i sell them for about 1000 naira so in case you want to buy it and by the way, I also sell printer heads, I sell monogram machines, I sell large format machines and stuff like that. So in case you need to buy from a trusted source and one year warranty and lifetime of support from the best Chinese brands, just you can reach me on WhatsApp, we can do business. Now, but so let's say you have these kinds of problems and yellow is just suddenly missing. That kind of a problem where ink is coming out when you pull there's ink coming out but yellow is not showing that is a technical problem that is it's an electronic problem it is not a mechanical problem it's not because your printer head is blocked it is that your printer head is blocked digitally so how do you fix that kind of a problem well now the first thing you want to do is you have to understand that in such a case where you have an electronic damage of a nozzle which often happens with x printer heads you first have to agree that now all the nozzles you have is five nozzles so that's one two three four five now in cases where yellow is not here it's anywhere in the track well now you the, this video should cover for cases like that right so yellow is missing uh yellow is the last whatever it is so first you have to agree that you have only five nozzles so now you have to first ask yourself which color am i sacrificing so if you have only five nozzles and yellow must work in a cmyk color profile it then means that you have to figure out a way to make yellow work with five nozzles so in this case, we're going to demonstrate scenarios where we sacrifice magenta. You can sacrifice cyan, you can sacrifice magenta, either one. But you cannot sacrifice black because black has one nozzle and yellow has one nozzle. So you can either sacrifice magenta or cyan. Whichever one you choose is great, right? So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we sacrifice magenta. So we're going to sacrifice this magenta now there are a few rules you have to put into consideration and i always discuss these rules anytime i'm doing this video the first rule is that your machine requires cmyk to print you have to keep that in mind now if your machine requires cmyk to print this is c this is m this is y and this is k 
in this configuration we have six color configuration if you need cmyk it means really your machine uses four colors not six so now these colors here being five means that you have more colors than your machine needs even though we know that your machine needs them that is of the two colors in magenta and cyan one of them is the bigger color the other one is the slave color which means that the strength one has more strength than the other now if this is the stronger color then this is just a supporting color or what you can call a slave color what that means is that if you have the main color and if you don't have the supporting color your machine will still print just fine so that's what we're going to use here we're going to use one of these colors now that is the supporting color for magenta to be the yellow so that we can then sacrifice the supporting color for magenta so that then we can make our machine work so that's pretty much what we're going to do and so what we first need to do is to then swap this color with this color but to do that we actually have to make sure that this color is not working because like i said in my machine my machine is perfectly fine but in your own machine yours is not working that's why you're watching this video so we're going to simulate that scenario and one way to simulate that scenario is to use a stud like this that i created for that purpose right so this is a stud that is blocked on one end but open on the other hand so i'm going to use this now to block that yellow so that that would be like the same scenario where that nozzle is not supplying right but what is happening in your own is an electronic fault or even if it is blocked so at least we have sure blocked it if you can see that from that so now having blocked that nozzle uh we now know that that nozzle is not working and say so we said we're going to swap this magenta with it right we're going to swap this magenta with it so we'll, we'll put this yellow in the place where that small magenta is and then we're going to then assume that that magenta now is the one in the position of that yellow so we'll put it here right so like that so of course it's not working because we blocked it so now because that is the case if we now do maintenance now which is what you call manual pump do some manual pump we'll do manual pump we'll do nozzle clean and then we'll do some nozzle test after this and then show you what the results are so now we have done a manual pump now next to that let's do a nozzle test now if we do a nozzle test you'll see that that magenta has swapped position and then the yellow has gone to its own position right now uh, i know you will say well magenta is, is still showing well the truth is by the time we keep doing nozzle tests you'll see that this magenta will keep getting faded because that nozzle is not being supplied so you see now as at here the colors are dead all right so now we technically even from here you can already see now that what we have is five colors so one two three four five all right so now the the bulk of now that we have done this physically on the machine the bulk of the job is now on main top on uh a tools so i'm going to go on the computer now and i'll show you what to do digitally because there are two sides of controlling this problem we have done the manual one which is we have swapped the position of the yellow now we want to go and do the digital one which is on a tool software so if your machine has a tools this is for you but if your machine doesn't have a tools uh, find out what software they use to control your machine and then you do these exact same things and i hope it should work for you but these practices are mostly designed for machines that use a tool so let's all right go we're on a tools on now and if i press entry a advanced setup software, like i right. said in previous videos the password for this place is 16753 so you press yes and so you go to the back end now the current configuration of the printer is cyan cyan black magenta magenta yellow now that corresponds to the previous state of the printer head remember this yellow was the last on our machine but now what we have done is that we have put yellow in between the two magentas as we have done in this case so now i know the temptation for you now would be that you want to put this yellow in between the magenta right now if you do that you would be wrong because if you look at the nozzle test that i just showed you the nozzle test shows that 
this yellow is actually before the magenta and that's pretty much how it works and this problem is only on the side of the yellow it does not affect the cyan side so when you have a situation where yellow is be is between is in between two magentas then this color is always the third it's never the second so don't make that mistake so we will now cut this yellow and actually remove it from there and then put it here so in that case now you would have ymm as opposed to mym if you put it mym regardless you're going to have issues so keep that in mind now the last part of thing i wanted you to notice is that you see the color we put in that section that is blocked we put the smaller magenta the reason we did that is because the digital uh, explanation of what i was telling you about main color and supporting color is that the smaller magenta is the ref is is what is used to programmatically reference the smaller color or the supporting color so what we did here now is that we put the smaller magenta at the back where the nozzle is damaged or blocked and then we put the main color there right so it now so you now have all of these five colors that will power your machine and then you can press ok now when you've done that you can press save if you need to we'll now go on main top right and then send a job that is yellow dependent so i'm going to look for a file now that is yellow dependent and send so i picked this file because of this yellowish look here so all right so i'm going to send this so that what we could do is we can turn this 90 degrees now and then press enter. So now, so we'll send this print file. So we'll press OK. So what we're looking out for is whether there will be visible signs of the yellow that we swap and you will see that there will be no visible sign of that yellow that we swap so what that tells you is that that fix corrected that problem so you can see that the soup is looking just as yellow as it was on the screen and it's looking just as nice even when it's just printed all right so you can see the print the yellows came out well even though we're using five colors so this is five color prints guys and it's working just fine so i hope this has helped you if it has i want you to hit the subscribe button hit the like button turn on the notification bell and i'll see you in another video bye take care